Welcome back, Saviors GH here. It's Eden Eternal. Let's play number two. Well, I figured in this video, I'm gonna play and talk about the engineer class and maybe some other stuff. And with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Okay, so we are back. We're now level 40. I changed my character because I kind of want to see the race abilities of the Halfkins. Yeah, because I kind of somewhat remember wanting to create a Halfkin character because it has stats that benefits the engineer class. We're gonna be talking about the engineer class in this video while I'm playing. So, okay, anyway, what do we do? Let's just auto path. So, why is the engineer class important? Let's check out the classes over here. It's because the engineer class is the class that you use for making money in Eden Eternal. You can also use the other classes like the Blade Dancer, but if I remember correctly, you can't use it at level 40. And yeah, man, According to the Discord, level 40 is the cap. I haven't really tested it. I have some quests. I don't know if I'm going to level up. Okay, so we're gonna see if the cap is level 40. It's the soft cap. Okay, so we need to get to whatever this place is so I can show you the abilities of the engineer class. Oh, I remember now why I wanted to create the halfkin for the engineer class. It's because of this. Look at this. Petite advantage evasion plus 30%. This is a lot. Because if you have this, you can put more on your physical attack and be much more efficient in farming. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to do? Collect fire resistance potion from Alonzo. It's not Alonzo. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Here is the mecha form of the engineer. You're gonna be using this a lot if you're free to play. Ooh. I accidentally hit this other one. <laughs> we died. What is this? Why are you so strong? Okay, so we're back. We're gonna avoid that one. I think that's a world boss. Let's check him out. See world boss. Oh man, we're getting attacked. He target this Alonzo over here. Let's not transform because it's AOE. We might hit him again. Finish this guy up. The engineer class is kind of decent for single target, but it's not as good as the other range classes. Let's take a look at the range classes. Hunter is a better single target DPS. But the best one over here is the Ranger. I haven't really tested out Inquisitor that much. Because if I remember correctly, the last time I played, there's no Awakened classes for the Inquisitor. And speaking of Awakened classes, let's go to the Engineers. Here it goes. At base, you're just an Engineer. But at some point in the game, you will be able to awaken your character. This one over here. There's two awaken class over here. You can use them both. You can switch anytime you want. But this one over here, it kind of looks like an Iron Man helmet. This is what you're gonna want. This is the mecha. This is gonna improve your Iron Man suit over here. It's gonna give you extra abilities. That's gonna help you farm better. Like uh, better stats, I guess. Buffs. So yeah. What are we supposed to do again? We're doing something. <laughs> We need to talk to Vort. Where is that? What? We need to go to that place. How about let's just use the teleport. The call of Aven. Nope, nope. Soul return. Oh, somebody's attacking us. I can't believe that the cap is just level 40. Because look at this. We're not leveling up. Yeah, the cap is level 40, but it's not that much to do in level 40. Why are they doing this? Okay, anyway, I'm getting attacked again. Pressing K. Okay, use the soul return. Don't attack me. If he attacks me, it's just gonna get cancelled. Okay, we're back. Talk to Vort. This is my favorite class, by the way, the engineer. Because I made a lot of gold <laughs> playing as an engineer. The other classes are also good, but we're gonna talk about that in other Let's Play video. Maybe we're gonna try Bard next time. Because I found something new in Bard in here. It's not the original Bard. Okay, anyway, we're gonna talk about that later. So what do we pick over here? Let's pick the bow. Get another quest. Now we need to go. Okay, we're gonna do a dungeon. Let's go. Open up our bag. What do we get? Go over here. Put it over here. Dump this thing. The old one. Can we wear this? Yep, we're not level 40. So we can dump this one. And we have a lot of pots. By the way, guys, this meteor shards over here. This is very important. When you do the quest in this game, when you finish all of the quests in the area, it's gonna award you with these meteor shards. And four of this is equals to a buff item. You need to talk to Oracle Magi. I, mean, I could be wrong with that. At the first area, Limestone Mountain, something like that. I could be slightly wrong at the, 
the name of the place but you guys get the point this is a buff item if you have four of this you can fuse this together and it's gonna give you a buff item look at this one she's not mounted okay so what are we supposed to talk about again oh yeah about let's talk about the item mall this is kind of disappointing look at this not the cash shop itself the loyalty shop you guys know when we play the game we get loyalty points you can get loyalty points in this path of destiny over here when you play the game you accumulate mobility right when this is 10 you can do 10 rolls and you will attempt to get over here at the end you will roll this is free guys it kind of looks like a gambling gacha nope this is free when you just play the game you accumulate mobility and you can do this it's gonna give you rewards this treasure hunting over here if i remember correctly is gonna give you something important and some eternal coins so you're gonna wanna land over here at the treasure hunting some of the other stuff over here are buffs so eh that's not that important that impor the important part is this treasure hunting and this ultimate treasure how about let's try it okay let's roll the dice as you can see we're rolling the dice and we got three one two three we get this is there a plus two over here so we can land over here how about plus three so we can land over here because there's no plus two okay plus three move it will land over here let's see what we're gonna get we got a uh, drop rate increase for an hour okay so that's what you're gonna do here try to land on this treasure hunting over maybe this money i'm i apologize guys my memory doesn't serve me right it could be this money or this treasure hunting over here just try it land on either of this but of course, your main goal is to get over here, the ultimate treasure. So let's close that. Let's do the dungeon. Baltaroy. Okay, let's go inside the dungeon. Hey, where's the dungeon? Uh, okay, over here. There's a lot of people over here. Let's get inside. Pick the solo mode. By the way, guys, the solo mode over here is the second one. The first Baltaroy core is the party raid. So we gotta do the single player. Confirm. And here it goes. If you're doing dungeons in this game, guys, you don't need to hunt down everything over here. You can just pass over them. Let's try if I can do that. I'm not per I'm not so sure if I can do it, but we're gonna try. Okay, let's transform into Iron Man. Let's try gathering them all. Let's hunt them down while we're running. Okay, hunt them down. By the way guys, all of these raids over here got a better version, mutated version that's gonna give you rare items. Okay, where do we go? The bastard. She's supposed to be over here if I remember correctly. Over here. You don't need to hunt. You don't need to kill everything. Just run past them. At later levels, this is a dangerous place because there are some mechanics over here that you need to do to get past the areas. But at the early parts, it's super easy. As you can see, guys, we're just gonna do this. Just be careful because you might die over here. Look at this, I'm dying. <laughs> Use your potions. You have two potions. Ooh, <laughs> we're dying. We're dying. <laughs> okay, so we died. What do we press? This is kind of confusing. When I'm pressing revive, it's teleporting me back to the town. How about revive here? Okay, there it goes. So how about let's do half. Okay, so potion up. Gather them all. And before, way back when Eden Eternal is new, this is what we do to level up. This, exactly this over here. You just kite enemies till they die. It's usually the party raid. It gives you a lot of EXP and also gives you items that you can sell for gold. It's very nice doing this. You level up and you get gold. But this is a single player dungeon so it gives you crap. So you might as well skip all of this. But I can't because I'm not geared enough for this. To run it properly so how about let's do it slowly these ones are tough i shouldn't have gathered these guys look at this this is what's nice about the engineer class your basic attack i mean your basic skill is a super aoe centered on your highlighted target
And that one is dead. Okay, we might have a problem over here because these guys are strong. Okay, let's try it. If we die, we do it again. So instead of just hunting this one by one, we can do it like this. Is it giving me any... Oh no. Yeah, we're cap already. We're leveling our engineer, so... Okay. But it's gonna level up. This is one of the most fastest class to level up. Because of this. Exactly what I'm doing right now. You can do this 10 times a day. Maybe in a day or two, you're gonna max out your engineer class. Finish this one up. I was talking about the cash up, right? This loyalty shop. Forgot what I was trying to say. What's disappointing about this is I can't find the Eden Eternal at the loyalty shop. There used to be an Eden Crystal, not Eden Eternal. <laughs> there used to be an Eden Crystal over here. 10 pieces in exchange for Eternal points. But it's now gone. It's all crap. EXP boosts are kind of useful. Loot trade drop also is kind of useful. And this. These are also useful. This memory tome, you're gonna need this a lot. Because you're gonna make a mistake in your builds. This over here, license knowledge. You're gonna make a mistake over here. As you can see, I'm not putting anything yet because, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm gonna put some later. And you can get the reset over here, memory tome. The only thing that I like over here is the memory tome and the safety stones over here. Which is kind of expensive. This is the crap stone by the way guys. And it's for 290? Just for a crap stone. And there's no even crystals. This is... Man. What I used to like about this game is they give free to play players other options to participate in the gambling. <laughs> Look at this. Here's the Eden altar over here. I can't open it at this area. Okay, anyway. And before, they're giving away Eden crystals in the item mall. In the loyalty shop, I mean. Over here. It's now not there, so I'm kind of disappointed. They gotta add the Eden crystals over here. At least 5 per week. It used to be 10? 20 if I'm... Oh, man. I don't remember. Okay, so let's hunt down the boss over here. So what's your weakness? Guys, if you break the boss, it's gonna increase the drop rate. Let's check out the items that he's gonna drop. He's gonna drop all of these trash items over here. And this rancid blood. Why do you want this? I think this is for crafting. You're gonna need this. So if you get one of this, just keep it. Maybe check the auction, how much this is. So yeah, there it goes. You also get this craftsman mysterious box. This is for the guild if I remember correctly. And the most important part why you're breaking this boss is this trophies. Trophies in these games are really good. It gives you special abilities like, for example, the special trophies for engineers are trophies that heals you when you attack an enemy. And since you attack multiple enemies, you can kite enemies and attack multiple enemies, the activation rate is very high. So you're gonna heal when you attack. And it makes you invincible. You guys get the point, right? You will heal while you're attacking. It's overpowered. I don't know if they fixed that, but last time I played, it's working. I hope they don't change that because that's actually fun. And we're level 40. You're not gonna get that trophy at level 40 if I'm correct. I think you need to be level 60. Just a guess. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's the fun part of this game, collecting trophies, guys. I really like this about this game, collecting trophies. Because these trophies are not just simple item that increases your stats. Some of them are like that, just increases your stats. But some of them got special abilities that adds to your characters. You're gonna find that out when you play the game. Okay, so you're also gonna get these equipments over here, which are... Early in the game, yeah, it's kind of useful, but it's eventually going to be trash when the gold items arrive. Okay, so let's hope we get this hard eye of Hazlet. 
And how about, let me show you the trophies that I've got. I got this Kitak Pocket Watch. This summons an ogre, an orc in battle for a very, very low chance. Most of the time, it doesn't appear. <laughs> and this one over here, man, this is mm, even in before. I don't know if this works because this disarms your enemy, right? I don't know if this works in PvP, but I think it doesn't work because this is overpowered. Disarming your enemy. Okay, anyway. Both are trash. <laughs> okay, let's hope we get the trophy for this one. What's the effect again? MP consumption negative 25. Has 2% chance to transform you into an imp. <laughs> Another useless. So do we break it? So if you're going to break a monster, like for example, it requires slash, right? But an engineer is a gun, right? It's an arrow icon over here, so I can't break it because I have a gun. What you need to do is open up your bag, equip a sword. Do I have a sword? Uh-oh. I don't have a sword. Okay, that's the problem. We don't have the sword. I think I can use this axe over here. Can I use this? Oh yeah, because that's a slash attack. We can just basic attack this until she's broken. And then let's equip the steam pistol again. Okay, let's do this. Let's punch him. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not gonna take a while. It's gonna break. Who's gonna break me? <laughs> let's go. Almost broken. You have to do this. You have to break your enemy to get better loot. Okay, it's broken. Now let, we can equip the steam pistol and use skills to finish him up quickly. Let's destroy him. Die. Okay, he's dead. Oh, we got the trophy. <laughs> We got the trash. Okay, let's equip it. I kind of don't like this one over here. So let's le so let's replace it. Hey man, it's level forty one, but we can't be level forty one. We can't wear it. Trash. If you can't wear it, if it's a trophy, you can archive it. Where's the archive over here? Archive. Let's go. You can put it over here, and then archive it. Where's the trophies over here? Armors, trophies. There he goes. I got a few trophies over here. We got the compass, magic bottle of double door. <laughs> what the name? It's a lot of trophies over here to collect. Where is the recovery trophy? Let's look for it. I kind of remember the icon. It's kind of a square i think this is it oh yeah this is it this robo vt kinetic energy trophy when you hit an enemy you will recover hp and if you're an engineer you're probably hitting a lot of enemies so it's most likely gonna heal you a lot so you're gonna aim for this if your favorite class is the engineer if you're free to play most likely you're gonna be using engineer but based on what i've seen Looks like the bard can also be used. And I also use Blade Dancer to farm because this is the spin to win class. And unfortunately, we can't use it because we need to be level 50 to be able to use this. So, we can't do that yet. Next let's play, we're gonna talk about the bard. We're gonna explore this. Some of the skills over here are kinda new. I mean, the way you use it. Okay, let's play again. Uh, Where do we go? Over here. I want to just run towards the boss, but they might kill me. Okay, let's try if we can. <laughs> let's go. I think we should go in a corner so that we can lose them. Over here, how about like, let's go over here. Don't follow me. <laughs> okay, let's attack this one. Let's see if the others can follow me. Nope. 
Ah. Look at this. We're just attacking this one, but everybody else is dying. This is what's great about the engineer class. Die. And he's dead. Okay. Now for the boss. Oh no, there are other mobs over here. I think we should take care of the mobs first before we hunt down the boss. Let's go. Let's kite all of this. Man, this is very nostalgic doing this. I used to do this a lot for Eden Crystals. Way back, if I remember correctly, for 30 minutes, I'll do this. I'll get 10 Eden Crystals. How much is 10 Eden Crystals nowadays? So you can just compute that. <laughs> I would do this for like 5 hours straight. <laughs> and somebody would pay me to leech their other classes. You can do that here. May rich dudes we pay you we pay you gold if you leech them in a dungeon so they can level up their you know classes that they don't want to level up i mean they don't want to play but they want them leveled up because if you level up your classes over here you get extra stats so even if you don't like that class you gotta level it up so you can get class ability bonuses i think that's it yeah okay so Let's hunt down this boss over here. Hunting him down. Oops. Use the buffs. We don't need to change weapons because as you can see, it's Pierce. The artillery gun of an engineer is Pierce. So this is gonna break. What do we get? A bastard's nucleus. It's also level 41. Attacking or casting seals has 15% chance of randomly canceling a negative status. Whoops. Reflect. I think this is reflect. Oh no, it's heal. When you get hit by an AoE attack, you need to stop attacking because most of the time, it will heal your enemy. So you need to stop attacking. Wait for it to disappear. Two seconds. Then attack again to finish him up. Die. And he's dead. We didn't get the trophy. You can just keep running and running this until you get the trophy. Sad though as you can't equip it. <laughs> and that's Eden Let's Play number 2. Do you have any specific questions about the class or about the game? Tell me in the comments. I could maybe answer it. Anyway, leave a like. And this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.